What are we going to be doing here? What is this? So here is actually our grooming station now. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now, we're mm -hmm. going to show you how we uh, wash uh, this guy here. Mm -hmm. He's been digging and it's actually very dirty. You can't see it so well because it's been a uh, shave, but it's very, very dirty. Mm -hmm. So you want to just uh, wash him nicely. Uh, just for you guys to see how now how now we do things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's wash you, my love. Good boy. Good. Good boy. I can remove this. He doesn't need it anymore. So in the future we want to put a, a metal bar here mm -hmm. so that uh, because some dogs sometimes they get afraid and they want to jump out. Mm -hmm. So in the future we will put a metal bar mm -hmm. but for now, especially for such good dogs here, mm -hmm. they don't need it. Oh. So this one is very, it's actually very good to wash. He, he likes water. Mm -hmm. okay. So first thing we always rinse properly everywhere. Mm -hmm. Him, he, he likes sitting down a lot, sometimes mm -hmm. it makes it harder but Still okay. Good boy. And the way I used to, to fight with my dogs when I was young to wash them. <laughs> oh, lo, lo, uh, lo, when lo, dogs lo. are not introduced, we've introduced this our dogs mm -hmm. to being washed since they were small puppies. Mm -hmm. So they are very easy. So now if actually we are washing someone else's dog, mm -hmm. we should take a, a few precautions like um, a muzzle mm -hmm. and uh, also attaching the dog to a metal bar the way I was saying, mm -hmm. the, with a leash so that mm -hmm. the dog doesn't try to run away. Oh. But in, now in the cases of ours, mm -hmm. they're just, they have been introduced when they were very small puppies, so mm -hmm. it's actually very easy. Mm -hmm. okay. I think that's enough water. Uh, now I put for him the soap. Stay. Go. So this is an anti free soap. Mm -hmm. It's actually very good and it smells very nice. I really like it. Mm -hmm. And also the second thing we'll put after this mm -hmm. will be conditioner. Mm -hmm. So I like using those too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh. <laughs> My yeah. name is really. Can like I? Can I help? <laughs> Yeah, you can. You can. Okay. You want to do it? Yes. Let me even add a bit more water. There you can go. Go ahead. He's he's very. Okay. Okay. Good boy. Good. Mm. This smells nice. Mm. It also gives them a type of massage, and they like that. Especially him on the head. Mm -hmm. If you do it nice on the head, he really relaxes and loves it. Mm. So you, you just try with many different dogs, you see what they like. Mm -hmm. And once you've seen that spot that they really love, it becomes much, much, much easier to even wash them. Mm. Mm. Okay, doggy. People, I'm washing a dog. <laughs> and it feels nice. So for those of you asking me, do they smell? <laughs> no, this is why they do not smell. This is why I'm comfortable when I go around places and dogs are hugging me and licking me because I trust that people are taking care of their dogs. Are you taking care of your dog? When was the last time you washed your dog? How do you, how do you take care of the paws? The paws, the same way you're doing, you basically just take one leg. This one is very cooperative. Mm -hmm. Milo sit. You just have him to sit first, for example, the front. And then you give him leg. Come on, give me. Good boy. And that way, mm -hmm. you can just individually mm -hmm. wash it, each mm -hmm. paw. Oh, okay. uh, and you see when he's licking, mm -hmm. it's not like he wants to lick, he's just a bit afraid sometimes when he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. That's like his uh, affection way of mm -hmm. saying, please mm -hmm. be gentle. Uh, mm -hmm. The paws are very sensitive. That's why even before mm -hmm. we wash, give, I... Give leg. My Milo. Milo. Oh, Milo. Oh, give the other leg. Give. Good. Good. Good boy. Him, he loves water. He's a very nice guy. Mm. The, the, uh, what about the heel? So now for behind, mm. how you do it, mm -hmm. first you need to bring the dog a bit closer. Milo, come. Come on. Come on. Good boy. And then, mm -hmm. this is the technique. Mm -hmm. Okay, now maybe he wants to go up by himself, but mm -hmm. you're supposed to take him from his down part and put him up there. So. Mm -hmm. Now once he's up, mm -hmm. now he's sliding, mm -hmm. you can take a leg behind mm -hmm. and then now you can wash the leg. That's oh, from behind. Yes. Oh, okay. Some dogs really are serial sitters <laughs> and it makes it much, much harder. So you actually, from, uh, it's a bit weird, but let's, let me just say, you have to take them a bit from their genitals and it gives them a reflex to stand up. Uh, they don't feel pain, mm -hmm. but uh, they feel there's something touching their private parts so they have to they have to stand up. 
other one. Give me my lock. I help it. I also like washing the face, avoiding the eyes. Mm -hmm. I think from the front is very good now. Mm -hmm. Only the now the behind part, maybe I do that one. Uh -huh. uh, and there is something else, maybe I may do that first or uh, later on is the ears. Mm -hmm. Usually you don't want this soap to enter the ears. So you usually you wash the hair which is here mm -hmm. with the soap mm -hmm. and carefully that you don't let the soap enter inside. Mm. So once you rinse him, mm -hmm. now th that's what I do after I've rinsed him, mm -hmm. I'm going to use like a cloth like this one with mm -hmm. water mm -hmm. to remove the thing in the ear. And sometimes when they are very dirty, mm -hmm. what, what's good to do is to take alcohol, mm -hmm. put it in a, like, like spirit, mm -hmm. put it on a cloth like this one mm -hmm. and now wipe inside. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you that just in a minute. Let me just finish his behind. His behind is also one of the most important things here because mm -hmm. that's where they poop and mm -hmm. you don't want anything to be left like uh, sometimes you have like a poop or something which is left here behind mm -hmm. and you must take make sure hand. you take the, your time here so that all this particles and everything come out okay. mm -hmm. Hi. So there's something else also we like doing mm -hmm. is conditioner. Mm -hmm. But uh, this guy, mm -hmm. we, gi we gave him conditioner, well, when was it? A few days ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, the good thing with the conditioner, what it does specifically, why you even like it, mm -hmm. is because uh, when they're shedding or anything, mm -hmm. it really removes all the, the hair and everything. Mm -hmm. And then for the afterwards, when they're drying and when they f fully dry, they mm -hmm. become even much, much softer. Mm -hmm. So I can show you that uh, quickly after this. But first I want to remove all this, uh, all this soap. Hey, Lord. And I need to do your head. Mm -hmm. And this is something dogs don't mm -hmm. like. We're rinsing, rinsing uh, their, he their heads. And, uh, but again, we have a very compliant dog here. He will be okay with that. So this is how I do it. I usually try to protect the nose and mm -hmm. rinse the face. Then I protect the ears mm -hmm. so that water doesn't enter inside. Mm -hmm. It's not good to have uh, dirty water and soap enter the ears. It can give them some types of infections. This one, Milo, mm -hmm. you're making me do error. You can just show the toothbrush and mm -hmm. say maybe the Yeah, toothbrush. that's what I wanted. Oh. That was... yeah. mm -hmm. I've put it there and then I click. Okay. I'll do so that. So when it comes to the teeth, mm -hmm. How, how do you deal with it? The tip. We have two things for the tip. The first thing I, I can't is uh, the, oh, okay. mm -hmm. uh, the, the first thing is uh, we, there are those very big bones. Mm -hmm. uh, they're called they're the femur or for goats, not goats, mm -hmm. I mean cows or pigs. Mm -hmm. They have very, very huge bones. We give them. Mm -hmm. And because they can't have the, the bone fully in their mouth, mm -hmm. it actually brushes their teeth when they're trying to get the meat and stuff, stuff from the side. Mm -hmm. So that's the number one. Mm -hmm. And it's the one actually most people should be using. It's mm -hmm. The dogs love them mm -hmm. and it's a good treat for, also for them. We have some here in, in our freezer. Mm -hmm. Now the second way we also, we also do for their teeth, mm -hmm. we have a toothbrush here. Mm -hmm. We actually brush their teeth completely. Whoa. We can actually brush their teeth. Mm -hmm. We usually don't do it because they are relatively clean mm -hmm. for our dogs. Mm -hmm. And we usually use those bones techniques and everything. Mm -hmm. But I can show you very quickly here. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's in a very good mood, so I can show you that. It looks very weird, but yeah. And the good thing with these types mm -hmm. of dog toothpaste mm -hmm. is that uh, they can actually swallow them. They're, right. not, uh, they're not toxic for them. So you really try to get fast the front mm -hmm. and, trying not, and trying not to hurt his gum. You see right now, <laughs> he's not happy at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like now that's, this is what you expect dogs to do. They want to fight this. Mm -hmm. They really want oh. to... Uh, to fight to fight this so much but mm -hmm. it's still good once in a while together it removes the tarts deeply in their teeth which is very good come on Milo good boy so if I really want to start brushing you start early yes you start very very early mm -hmm. like this one we started a bit late mm -hmm. all of them we started late because even us uh, as new dog owners mm -hmm. we didn't know about uh, brushing the teeth we knew about the other techniques mm -hmm. but we didn't know about uh, the tooth brushing itself now when he's fully uh, rinsed from the soap, mm -hmm. I actually remove them. Mm -hmm. I don't like having them walk down, so I usually remove them from here. Mm -hmm. Myself. Mm -hmm. 
Then from here, if I release him, he'll go running and doing that. <laughs> and so before he goes running and pours water on everyone, mm -hmm. I first drop him. But the good thing is, you see, I did like today. And if I didn't use a towel, mm -hmm. he would still dry around and run everywhere, and he he loves it. He mm -hmm. becomes extremely happy after the shower. Mm -hmm. uh, and something else, maybe I didn't do right, uh, that I can show you, mm -hmm. is at this stage. Mm -hmm. This is the time where, uh, let me wait this. I can uh, mm -hmm. deal with his ears. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, no, don't go. Okay. <laughs> uh, now you see this one. Come, Melo, Melo. Melo, Melo, come on, come on. So now this is the time I can deal with his ears. So now this is what I like to do at this point. I just open up the ears and I check it this way to see if there is dirt anywhere. So this I will just call it light because I can not put alcohol, it's just wet. Mm -hmm. Come on, Melo. So, <laughs> so yes. Yeah. You, you, go, you go through this <laughs> with, with the dogs, you just need to adapt yourself. So, you, so this one has a bit of that, so you know, you just go. And the good thing with when you're wiping the ears mm -hmm. is that uh, you can really go deep. Many people don't, uh, don't know that because they're afraid. Mm -hmm. They're afraid that uh, maybe you'll hurt your dog, but everything. But with your finger, mm -hmm. you can't actually really hurt it. Unless really you go like a, <laughs> like a monster. But let's do this considerably. So there. Okay, good boy. Good boy. So first I wipe the peripherals, mm -hmm. and then I like going a bit deeper to remove like all the all the dirt. Did you have to get somebody to train you how to do these things? Yeah, this one is again the trainer who trained us for Keanu mm -hmm. is the one who uh, who taught us how to to really clean properly the ears. And at first we were very afraid of putting our fingers in there and everything. Mm -hmm. But when you do it properly, mm -hmm. it's okay. Your dog doesn't feel pain, mm -hmm. and it's actually it actually relaxes them. Some of them because mm -hmm. they have a lot of dirt, specific, especially people who don't do this often. So as we do it like every week or mm -hmm. two weeks, mm -hmm. so our, their ears are relatively clean, mm -hmm. all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, also, mm -hmm. the products in the market for mm -hmm. ear cleaning solutions. Mm -hmm. So what you normally do is uh, pour the solution and with a, and then you put a cotton swab to absorb while you are rolling it. Ah. So this is if, if you don't, it's just a home care mm -hmm. thing if you don't have those things. And but they are ear cleaning mm -hmm. solutions, safe for dogs. Somebody might bring your dog and they haven't been cleaned for, for a mm -hmm. very long time, yeah. That's oh. when they have like wax and they have, that time you need to put alcohol here, mm -hmm. but not so much it can drip, but mm -hmm. just enough for it to be embedded in alcohol. And then now you go in and you remove it slowly by slowly. You know, people, when I tell you having a dog and taking care of a dog is like uh, having a baby, this is what I mean. Like when it comes to the hygiene of that dog, yes, even the ears are clean. <laughs> yes, you have to keep, you consider the health of the teeth. So when you're thinking about getting that dog, owning that dog, know what you're in getting into, please take care of your dogs, probably because these are man's best friend. Mm? It's your companion, so take care of your dogs. So after it's a bit moist, you put the doggy deodorant mm -hmm. just for it to smell well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And also, like it says, it's a deodorant, so it actually keeps the dog uh, fresh mm -hmm. for a longer period. It can yeah. even go a month sometimes and with just some deodorant. And it's made of mint and what, which helps in dandruff, mm -hmm. even in the human skull. Mm -hmm. It helps with dandruff. My love. It, it also has some oils. Melo, come. Yeah, it has oils good for their skin mm -hmm. and anti dandruff, mm -hmm. and not to dry them. So it's not like it's just a, yeah. something also there. This though should be when the dog is dry. Mm -hmm. Normally at this point you blow dry, mm -hmm. then you can you put the deodorant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But just for now we are showing you. Then there's this grooming comb. Mm -hmm. You comb towards against the hair to remove the the excessive uh, yeah. hair. Yeah. You for can the shedding. See. Against the hair. If the hair flows like this, you comb against. To remove matting also for people who don't come much, the hair sometimes mats. 
And also it's good for detangling. <laughs> These are very good detangling. Can I use it to detangle my hair? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, but... Uh, depending Deta on your detangling hair. My hair <laughs> detangling my hair is a headache. Mm. Okay. So you see, for dogs who shed a lot, this is what you, you are going to expect. A lot of uh, hair on your comb. And usually, uh, like um, Penny said, we do this when they are fully, fully uh, dry. Mm -hmm. Now we are doing this now. It's also good because it's, it's easier to, for de to de detangle the hair, mm -hmm. but uh, it's still better when they are when they are very dry. And the tail too. You see, when this guy dries, he's going to be extremely fluffy and perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, these are just types of combs. There are so many. Some we don't even have here uh -huh. for combing. They are de-shedding and mm. this side de-sheds. This side is just for making it smooth on uh, the after de-shedding. So well, when you see very puffy dogs, very nice looking, like the Zoe type and everything, mm -hmm. they have to have these <laughs> like this. This is what now does the magic. Mm -hmm. uh, so this usually, this is the last thing you use usually. You use this side, also again is the hair. Mm -hmm. And then when you're fully satisfied with your job, now you brush with this side. Mm. People also, when hair is overgrown, mm -hmm. people trim it with scissors. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So for now we'll just clip some nails. And you fire. clip, yeah, clip and file. Uh, so you can just go back there. Yeah, for the clipping. Come, come here. Let me bring come. There he is. Come. You know what's happening. Uh, so now he doesn't like your fingers. The, the clipping. Mm -hmm. The clipping is the most sensitive. Like dogs, some dogs even can bite you if you try to clip them. Mm -hmm. But there is a technique mm -hmm. you can do. First of all, you need to distract them. You see, he already knows. He mm -hmm. has already seen this. He's not happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's really not happy, and he's very afraid. Mm -hmm. So, but him. He's too good. He's just too good. And some of these others, mm -hmm. they're very <laughs> against such things. So to make sure you don't, uh, first of all, you don't uh, harm your dog. Mm -hmm. You look where the the nail, the nerves. I think they're called cuticles. Mm -hmm. uh, I forgot the term. But you look where that thing is mm -hmm. to see if you can, uh, if you're not going to hurt him, basically. Because mm -hmm. there's always a place where if you go too deep, mm -hmm. now they can even bleed. And I'm actually seeing here, because you see he was digging, mm -hmm. you can see nails like this, they have already been trimmed automatically. Oh. So you don't even need to do anything, but this guy, he, he digs. Mm -hmm. So you just look for nails, like for example this one. Mm -hmm. So this is the technique now. <laughs> so when you're doing it, you give them treats. But him, mm -hmm. uh, he knows what's coming, so he's a bit, even, even treats are a bit, uh, a bit hard for him. So you just take, a bit, I don't like clipping too hard. I think that's that's it. And then you just check here. This is good. He this guy really digs a lot, so it's not even you don't even need to do it so much. But it makes them uncomfortable. That's why you see he's even licking me or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, something else also when you're clipping, mm -hmm. some people forget uh, the side nail, this one here. Mm -hmm. Milo. Good boy. So this side nail. And because uh, it's a, ah, uh, they, yeah. they always have a side nail like this one. Mm -hmm. But it's also important to clip it because mm -hmm. if it overgrows, it actually curves in mm -hmm. and enters the, the pore here in, inside and it can actually cause infections. Mm -hmm. This one is not, if you look at this guy's nail, because we do it often, mm -hmm. he doesn't have like bad nails. Mm -hmm. Some dog's nails actually come out like this and that's the time you really see you need to clip them so much. Mm -hmm. But this guy, this is actually, if you see this, mm -hmm. this on your dog, mm -hmm. you don't actually need to clip. Mm -hmm. So when when they have a place where they can dig and they are getting rough, then mm -hmm. the the nails automatically take care of themselves. Is yeah. That what you're to if you have a dog which is a digger like mm -hmm. this one, mm -hmm. you'll notice many times mm -hmm. the nails are like trimmed. Mm -hmm. You don't even need. I have a file here, mm -hmm. but for a guy like this one, I don't even need to use this because he digs so much, especially mm -hmm. with the front things, mm -hmm. with the front uh, paws that there's the automatically. Uh, file his nails mm -hmm. so he's a very he's a very good one actually but now i'm thinking like if i if i i live in an apartment and my dog has nowhere to dig then taking care of the nails is a yeah. necessary now now what the, the signs you see in an apartment specifically mm -hmm. we have even the example of our neighbors here mm -hmm. uh you'll hear 
on the tiles. And that's when you hear that type of things on the tiles, it means the nails have overgrown and they're actually on the they're touching the floor. Mm. So that's the time you, you need to tell yourself, oh, I need to trim the nails. Mm. Even now, if you look at Melo, Melo come when mm. he's walking, mm -hmm. none of his nails touch down. Mm -hmm. So that's when you know he can even come very quietly. To you won't know. Mm -hmm. But if a nail has uh, overgrown, uh, if a dog has overgrown nails, mm. you'll hear. <laughs> Uh, yes, and, uh, and that's like apartments, mm -hmm. yeah, you really need to, you need to take care, you, you need this, this too, really, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, uh, mm -hmm. some people say, we don't know, but some people have told us, walking their dogs on tarmac automatically files them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people we see them with perfect, uh, their dogs have perfect nails, mm -hmm. we ask them, oh, you trim your dog's nails, they're like, no, it's just walking them on the tarmac, oh. regular walk. Oh, yeah. That's nice. No. We, we've had an awesome day, we've talked, 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 and now what would be your final parting shots to the people? Uh, are you online if we, people want to see your kennel and the design and uh, all this because it's beautiful. I'm very sure after, after this episode, somebody will come ask me, Linda, where are these people? So how do people find you, your parting shot and all that? So first of all, we are extremely social people. We have uh, an Instagram, which is at uh, Green Garden Kennels. And we also have a Facebook, which is also at Green Garden Kennels. So you can find us there. And we actually offer grooming services and boarding services right now. In the future, once we expand, we'll now even go to training. But right now, I can't tell people I'm going to train your dog, especially that me, myself, I'm not a fully trainer. We are trying to partnership with uh, a good, uh, maybe training company or something, so that we could be uh, able to now um, on the same time we offer grooming and boarding we also have a place uh, for training yes um, yeah get yourself a dog they're very good company mm -hmm. and um, for large breeds mm -hmm. Uh, what we've learned, mm -hmm. um, it's just a suggestion, mm -hmm. uh, you feed um, high quality dry food mm -hmm. and uh, raw food. Mm -hmm. it, it really, raw food uh, helps them grow bigger mm -hmm. and it's healthier for them. Mm -hmm. But it always depends on uh, the hygiene because if you are feeding raw food, you have to be very hygienic because of salmonella. Mm -hmm and stuff mm -hmm. it can give you you just have to be in me and watch out for us mm -hmm. um next year or coming soon we might have puppies <laughs> we have we take good care of our dogs as you've seen mm -hmm. we'd want them to get go to really good homes mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I hope I get to visit you when you're having puppies. Me, I love puppies. I love puppies. <laughs> anyway, people, it's been awesome. Of these guys are just lovely, and their kennel is just. Mwah. Mm? We keep learning every day, and I'm learning. And today it was not even just about uh, at the breeders and puppies. It was about first-time dog owners. How did they get here? I, I understand their feeling getting at going visiting to a dog and they go home with a puppy because every time I visit a place and I see puppies and I go home, I leave a piece of my heart at that kennel. So it's been wonderful. It's been awesome. I hope you're subscribing. Keep hitting that notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. It's your girl, Kamakawaida Linda Kenyita, and this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. So as a first time dog owner, one thing that really helped us is watching dog, um, dog videos, knowing about the breeds, how to take care, and all that information is found here in Dog TV, the best documentary t uh, channel in Kenya. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. So yeah, we are so happy we uh, met you guys uh, in October. We are so happy you actually came to visit us. It's actually an honor. We were so we were a bit stressed. I'm telling you, <laughs> we have celebrities visiting us and everything. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much. Uh, by the way, your videos are excellent. I'm always watching Dog TV to learn more, mm -hmm. and it has been a really inspiring thing. Even our some improvements we've gotten here and there. Actually, we got them from Dog TV. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, like uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. This is really it's, uh, it has it has been a really great time. And we are really happy about all this. <laughs>